You are suffering from cognitive dissonance. They are just ignorant. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We hereby present a new reporter on the show. Today, it is Friday evening. Yeah, it is a Friday. A day that lights up your weekend. You are near my new reporter. Mo, you see me? I'm Waswa. But comrade Waswa, would you manage this job? You seem to have taken one too many. As you see me, I'm a drunk. But I talk. So, who gives you this alcohol, Mr. Reporter? This market is surrounded. All is surrounded alcohol. We have kiosks where they sell alcohol. Oh, so the frosty waters are at large here? Sour, sour. We are told this market has a lot of challenges, sir. We have a problem here. The main problem, and I can talk, the, let me say, the main consequence. Huh? Take away your consequences. Let me get another reporter. By now, if I are talking now in the English, I'm talking like a real war. We're talking now by the truth, by the truth. I'm talking like a dark sister. I'm talking like a D sister. Yeah. But you're a reporter. I am wondering, how do you get jobs when you drink like fish? So I don't know for us now I wanted a job. If you want one thousand, my friend, you pay me, I can job in your work. Yes, I get this, my friend. All right. Next reporter. Your name is Sir? Musazi Andrew Grace. I get you loud and clear, Musazi Andrew Grace. What do you do for a living? I'm a farmer. By, I'm a peasant, okay? But I'm a farmer. Okay, farmer. But are you married? I am uh, important. Eh, hey, but your village may tell us that he, you have children. I have children, but then uh, because of AIDS, I had to abstain from uh, sexual affairs. So, why are you abstaining, sir? Because you avoid AIDS. Oh, I can see you are a good counselor. Giving tips to young boys and girls. Please, preach abstinence. This is important in this era of HIV AIDS. I would like to advise the children to use their sexual affairs when they are mature and in a good place and position. Okay, take us through the commercial break now. There's a meeting here today, come along, there's a meeting here tonight, come along, there's a meeting here today. There is a meeting here today. There's a meeting here today. Another one, please. Young women and men of Uganda are marching along the path of education, singing and dancing with joy together. No, I think for a better Uganda. But uh, do you take some alcohol, Mr. Farber? I take alcohol and alcoholic drinks all the time, man, but I'm organized because I sleep in my home. Let's message to our viewers, Grace, the farmer. We dance this organized dances. And this is why Andrew says Grace has been here to be with you so that we learn how to protect our lives. Thank you, sir. Let us go for another commercial break. <laughs> And this is the rejected minister for the elderly and disabilities, Adrian Tibarika. Let me take a closer look. Shh. 
she is the one. We are told she was not approved. Mbo, she lacked the academic qualifications of a minister. So, Honorable, did you go to school? 13 March 1960, I joined primary school, Wabukoba. From P7, I joined Old Kampara. From Old Kampara, I joined Kororo High. From Kororo High, I got married. Got married before you completed school. Have you given up now? I will get my position for minister. And I don't think seven you left me out. I'm still uh, I'm still having a hope that I'm, I will vote the parliament and I swear. All right. Ay, 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 ay. Can I dance? Can I dance for the revolting Kasibire? Ha, ha. And then for the Nankavirwa? Nankavirwa, oh, yeah. Ah. Nandu to point blank.